Latimi got the track hawk, the Lambo truck, the Rolex. Why can't I have this now? Like, I want it now. It's not your timing yet, big baby. Slow down. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Caleb 2 random back with another video. Now, before we get started, you're going to hear me whisper, man. My kids are asleep, so we got to kind of calm it down for them. But we're we going to get you the message, and that's all that matters, right? Today, we're going to be talking about moving at your own pace and why that's important to be aware of on, on a daily basis, right? Now, what does moving at your own pace mean? It basically means you just being comfortable moving at your own time and you're not being pressured by anybody as far as in like societal expectations of how you are supposed to act and how you are supposed to move on a daily basis. Just a person that's confident being them. To me, you can really just tell because a person a lot of times that's where anxiety comes from. It's just not moving in a way that we believe we should move. And you can see it amongst friends. A lot of people try to impress other folks and, and just do things that's just not them. And that will put you in a very compromising position being around people that's just on different playing fields, bro. And in either trying to move too fast or either moving too slow. Most people respect people that move on their own time. And like when you see somebody, it just kind of screams confidence when they they doing their thing and they not too worried about what people think about them or whatever the case may be. And if people don't respect that, I feel like you, you shouldn't have them in your life. Fuck them. Actually, that's how I feel. Because like I said, I'm not trying to live up to who you think I should be or any. I'm not trying to have that pressure on me. So eliminate them people immediately. <laughs> we all know that one grandma that's on the highway doing 60 and a 70. Everybody frustrated because she holding up traffic and she, she should have stayed ass at home, basically. But in reality, she's just comfortable going that speed because if that grandma went 80 miles per hour, it's going to fuck up everybody there. I promise you, it's going to be car crashes everywhere. If every grandma just started, if they had to go to speed limit, bro. God. And when you pull up beside them, they ain't worried about them 50 people behind them. They just worried about where they need to go. They they not worried about your opinions or nothing. I just, I'm, I'm almost there. I think that's my exit right there. Take your ass home, grandma. Never, ever, ever try to speed up your process simply because you see somebody doing something that you want to do in the time frame that you want to do it. Don't do that. Don't don't do it. The, what they say, comparison is a thief of joy. Yeah, I promise you, you don't know how they got it. You do not know if they thieves. They, you don't know about their morals or anything. You just they might be scamming. You want what they have, but they they that they didn't get it officially. They not really valid like that. And stuff like that don't last that long. You trying to chase something that's a facade, bro. Don't don't do that, bro. God, this universe, whatever you believe in, will bless you with what you want in in, in due time. It just takes a little ripening. You gotta you ain't ripe yet. You ain't it ain't your moment yet. You just gotta know that and be comfortable with it and keep pushing forward. Don't don't compare. It can be a Lamborghini. And you can be driving a Toyota Camry and y'all both have the same destination, but you're looking at that Lamborghini like, yo, he gonna beat me, it's faster. Honestly, fuck that Lamborghini. Long as you get there, that's all that matters. Y'all both have the same destination. It, 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 I don't care who gets there faster. In life, you could be either moving too fast or moving too slow, and you gonna know. Life will tell you, it'll, it'll, it'll show you signs. If you're moving too fast, you'll start messing up. You'll start to be nervous. And it's going to show up in every aspect of your life when you're moving too fast. You can be having sex, bro, and you can be so eager, bro. And you can ruin the whole session just because you're moving too fast. And you could have just slowed your pace down just a little bit and could have got five more strokes in. That simple. Pacing. It can be even when you're talking. You're going too fast. You're thinking too fast. You end up stumbling on your words on a big project that you got to prevent. Did I say prevent? Present. Exactly. Should have slowed down. You can also be eating too fast. You didn't cook. Have you ever cooked a meal, bro? It took you 35 minutes to cook this meal. Soon as you put it on your plate, you eat it and in two minutes. You didn't even you didn't even chew it slow. You didn't even let it savor in your mouth. You just just. <laughs> Like a gremlin slow it down enjoy it you'll get way more pleasure out of your food if you just slow down 
finding my pace, it, it took a while because I had to realize I had to slow everything down. Even how I played basketball. I like to use basketball analogies because that's just that's that's my sport, right? So I'm that person on the court that's dribbling too much and too fast. And I'm going to blow the whole play. I promise you. Just dri- Somebody you know, got in my pocket and, and stole the ball from me simply because I'm dribbling too much and too fast. Look at Luca, bro. He looks slow as hell on that court, bro. But he's one of the top NBA players, if not the top 10 at least NBA players today. Simply because he's moving at a pace that he's comfortable with. He, he, he found his rhythm in the game of basketball. You also have to realize when you're moving a little bit too slow. Like that's just procrastination at this point. You know when you're moving too slow. You're not really maximizing your time, your energy, and what you could be doing. Like me, I know when I'm moving slow, when I have a project I have to do or something I have to take care of that should be done in a day. And I turn that whole thing into a week, a week and a half. Even with videos, bro, you can be like, I right, I get to it Tuesday. Tuesday come around, you don't even feel like doing it. You push it to Friday. You could have dropped five videos within the time you said you was going to do it, but you was just moving too slow. You didn't have no type of eagerness to even get it done. So you have to realize when you're moving a little bit too slow, bro. And let me say this, just because you're comfortable moving at your own pace, there's going to be times where you're going to have to adjust, uh, whether that be in a relationship, whether that be at the workplace, sports, whatever the case may be, because you can't be so rigid that you don't adapt to what's in front of you. Like this new technology, this new AI, artificial intelligence, it's like it's, everything is moving at a faster pace. So you, you will have to adjust to it. If you don't, you're gonna be left behind. Be comfortable being you, but don't be rigid. I'm gonna give y'all a quote. There's no deadline to success. Boom. Ooh, I like it. Like I say in all my videos, man, I'm gonna keep this sweet, short, and simple, man. If you learned anything, got any gems from this video right here, please like, subscribe, show your boy some love. Until then. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, if somebody need this message, man, sh share this with them. Please, thank you.